Hello everyone, this is Andy and welcome back to Back to the Clash. Here's an interesting thing. So in the main game, over here, always, always, always do every upgrade before you upgrade your town hall. That's because there's a, um, a loot punishment. Every time you go up, you get less loot if you attack bases below you. And obviously the further up you go, the more bases you're going to find which are below you. So always, always, always upgrade everything and then upgrade town hall. Interesting thing on this one. So, with a Town Hall 3, especially until you get the third army camp, it's really hard to progress because you're trying to get sort of four, maybe five defensive buildings with just two army camps full of troops. It's really hard to make any kind of progress. So, the other downside is I'm very quickly filling the stores. And although I've got a lot of buildings I could still upgrade, what I actually recommend is upgrading to Town Hall 4 early. And there's a big benefit of that. For a start, you get quite a few different buildings. Um, the clock tower is really good just for speeding up the results. So speeding up upgrades and things like that. And you don't have any downside to upgrading early because the loot stays the same because of the way that uh, the builder base sort of games work. So if you're struggling in the early days of the sort of um, builder base, builder hall, um, it's not a bad thing just to give yourself the extra upgrades because what you've also got to remember is each of these buildings counts towards your percentage. So when someone's attacking you, the more buildings you have, each building is a smaller percent of your total. So they've got to destroy more buildings before they can um, uh, attack you. So this is quite good because I've now got, um, I've spent nearly all my loot. But that's fine because I can upgrade. And I can go in now because when I was attacking before, I only had... Um, two bases and it was just getting a bit of a struggle now it's quite tempting to go in here and take out this uh, crusher and then work my way through the base but I'm actually going to go in this way um, I'm going to start off with a couple of sneaky archers because oh that's helpful All right let's send in the giants Okay, see the giants go in and they don't get obliterated by those mines, which is really useful. And in the time that they're still alive, I can get virtually all of um, the defences. Got the town hall, got the first star, which is good. Now, it's going to be the question mark now is, can I get that archer tower? No. See, that was annoying because those two extra archers came in and started attacking the lab. Oh, nearly. Nah, no, never mind. Still, 56 and 2 stars is a massive jump over what I got. I still got beaten, but, you know. <laughs> Let's have another go. Okay, so this is quite cool. So that crusher is on its own, away from defensive buildings. It's something I've always, always, always say when you're trying to um, set your defences. Oh, why are you going down there? Oh, sorry. When you set in your defences, you want to make sure that um, they're protected by other defences. So there's a lot of overlap. Hmm, what you see? Um, that means that, you know, when I'm attacking one building, there's a lot of um, defences that are overlapping and attacking me. And it's more likely to... Um, to um, be a successful defense. Obviously, when you're attacking, you hopefully want to find bases that haven't done that. All right, so I'm getting now two stars. So prior to having that third one, I wasn't. So it is getting better. Let's see how he's doing. So they've already got th they've already got um, one star. This one's going to be quite close. Okay, 39% one star. I think I've won that. Fantastic. 
So I'm starting to get... So this is the interesting thing about the Builder Base. One little jump does make quite a big difference. Right. Now, if I... If I get lucky and there's nothing in here, let's drop one just to find out. Okay, so those cannons are not going to be able to get me from there, which is good. Oh, they will! <laughs> That's hilarious. Talk, but, you know, that was not um, my finest moment on this channel. Okay. Let's get that crusher, and then as soon as that crusher's gone, I'm going to send in the giants to distract... Right, let's see how we get on. Okay, hopefully the giant's going to survive long enough to me to get that, which is great. I've got forty-eight percent. Let's get another building that's going to take me to over fifty percent. I think they're going to clear up now for the last one, but fifty-eight percent two stars isn't too bad. Let's hopefully. Cool. So there we go. So um, that was just the difference in having that third army base. Um, it really does make a big difference at this part of the game. So get those extra army camps as soon as you can. That's going to really help. And don't be afraid about upgrading early on um, this, especially because you unlock the clock tower and um, you get more air defenses. There's a lot of benefits to going up and just keep on plodding it through the game hope you're enjoying it and as always just comment below if you have any questions and feel free to join my clan which is back to the clash or one word as you can see on the left there at the moment okay thanks for watching see you soon bye